going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. I know I have not played this game in a hot while. Um, well, I've been playing a lot of it, actually. But I haven't done it on camera in a good while. Um, a lot of things have changed since last we have spoken. Um, mainly, I've got a full team of all rank 5... Five stars, which is hot diggity dog, level 100s. And the important stuff and things about today is, one, the event's going on right now, the fusion event, fusing five star and six star heroes gives you some stuff and things. Then Heroic Miracle, that's just getting, obtaining certain uh, level heroes, also gives you a lot of stuff and things, some pretty solid gear and some profit orbs. Profit orbs are awesome. I love me some profit orbs. But sometimes they screw you, but that's okay. Everything screws you sometimes. Any hoodles, that's a good start. It's a good start for what we're going to do today, but we have other stuff and things we also want to do today. That's right. More than one thing. So first up, monsters. Now last time, I didn't have monsters. I unlocked them quite a bit ago, actually. They're pretty solid. They're really great. They change the crap out of your team, make your team ten times stronger, which is great. But there's a lot of different ones. I'm not going to go through all of those today. Um, but the one I did choose was this guy right here, the little fire dragon looking guy. Um, for the main reason, can you just check the info like so? You can, sweet. Um, the reason I took this guy is up here. One, he has a built-in chance to stun, which is great. Two, he increases your ally's crit. That's pretty nice. That's his active skill. His passive skills, um, this one just does damage and uh, uh, health and damage. This adds crit chance, which is very powerful, and crit damage, which is very powerful. The last one is adds speed. I think all the monsters are the same first and last pretty much, but the middle two change. Um, this is a very offensive-based monster, I'm assuming. <laughs> you know, crit chance and then crit damage stacked on top of that. Very strong, and he's the one I'm using. So today, we're actually going to go ahead and evolve this guy up to tier 2. Because we've got enough monster blood, souls, things, and we're going to go ahead and do that like a so. Oh, oh, he looks baller! I didn't know he changed the way he looks. That's hot, dude. I'm attracted to this guy. Sexually attracted. Now, holy crap, that's expensive. But we're going to start leveling up this one, I believe. Not this one. Not that one. This one. Because I want that crit chance to start getting built into my team. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to upgrade these a couple of times. We can't do many because we don't have enough of these things. What are they called? You can't check them. We'll call it monster shards because that makes sense. So let's go ahead and upgrade this a couple of times. Man, it's going to burn us out quick. We got it to level 5. Hot dog! That's all right, though. We've got some extra HP, attack, and crit chance now, which is great. Great and attractive. And we can level them up a couple times as well. So let's just go ahead and do that too. Like so. Like so. And like so. So there we go. Now our monster's doing some crazy better damage. A little bit bigger chance to stun. And he's adding crit to my team. So that's delicious. That is delicious. And do we want to do that now? Do we? Let's do. Let's do. Okay, so we're trying to get some heroic miracle stuff and things going. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get some five-star heroes. Right? Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the casino here. And I've got some super casino so words, super casino coins that I have not spent. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to spend some freaking coins, peeps. We're going to do a 10 time spin here, I believe, and it's going to be great. There we go. Oh, shake the screen. Give me good loot. Two profit orbs. I'm okay with that. I am very much okay with two profit orbs, a lot of gold, some monster blood. That's hot news and a heroic scroll. I'm good with that. So let's go ahead and spin our last three up here. Maybe we'll get a five star. Mm, uh, maybe, perhaps. Heroic scroll, I'll take it. Let's do it again. Come on, baby. I'm definitely down with the profit orbs, though, because those are hot diggity dog. Monster blood, I'll take that, too. I need that. And the final spin. Ooh, we got some uh, artifact stuff and stuff. I don't have any of those, I don't think. So that's the first time I've gotten them. Hot dog. We're doing good, peeps. Bit, butt cheeks. We need to go ahead and get our five. No, can we do that right now? I don't believe we can. I don't think we can, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead now that we've done some stuff. We've got some things. We could do heroic summons to try to get five-star gods or five-star heroes. I've got 33 of them saved back, but I don't know if I want to spend them here or in the heroic summon event. Not a hundo sure yet. So for now, these, we're going to save them. We're going to save them for now because that's what we're going to do. But... Booty cheeks. We need to do some battles. I've been stuck for a little while based on my level and stuff like that. And we need to do some damage. We need to do some damage. So we're going to drop in our 
awesome, amazing team here. You guys haven't really seen it in action yet, but you're about to. Be prepared. Be prepared. And we've got our new hot, delicious monster who looks super attractive. We're going to run him as well. So, let's jump in and start making some progress in the campaign, peeps. Bam. Double time. Kill him fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going smooth. Look at all that damage. Get wrecked. Oh, look at all that damage on us. Us get wrecked. Just kidding. We never get wrecked. There it is. Boom. 18. Oh, it hits three people now. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. So there we go. Smoke that. No problemo. We'll drop an auto battle here. Like so. Get that starting to go up. And we're going to try. We're probably going to lose as well. But we're going to try the Tower of Oblivion. All right. I have been stuck on 160. Um, for a long time. <laughs> this is like impossible. They always destroy my whole face, but today we're going to try to destroy their whole face and it's going to be amazing. Hopefully, perhaps. So we're going to try it like so with our new upgraded monster and hopefully this goes well. Usually it doesn't. These guys are really a pain in the butt to kill. So let's give it a shot here and see what happens. All right. All right. The counterattacks are disgusting. They hit so hard. Look at that, they're just, they're just melting my team. They're just destroying my whole face. Look at that, it's impossible. It's impossible. All right, so I obviously need some six star heroes up in this piece um, before I can take these dudes out because that was disgusting. <laughs> Thank you for wrecking me. We'll try it again. We'll try it one more time because that's what you do. When you fail, you get one more shot just in case you got unlucky, right? Right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it one more shot and see what happens. All right. Man, they just, they heal up so much. Oh, we almost got one down. Things may be turning for us. No, they're not. They're not turning for us at all. Oh, yeah. This is going just as bad as the first time. <laughs> just as bad. Or is it? Oh, we killed one. That's progress, peeps. That is progress. Oh, we killed two. Oh, my gosh. We're overpowered. We're too good at this game. Just kidding. We suck. <laughs> we're getting wrecked. But that's all right. You got to get wrecked sometimes. We got closer that time. That's good. So, obviously, we need some six-star heroes in our life. We don't have that yet, but one day we will. One day we will have that. Now, Zs, do we want to do a fusion? Oh, I can just grab this guy out. Um, BT dubs. Fun stuff here. Um, if you summon a hero out of this, like I saved these guys' shards back. I got them a long time ago. I never actually summoned them out. You summon them out like so, and that will give you a point in your heroic miracle thing. See? Now I've got one out, of five, uh, one out of three for the Fortress Heroes. Give you more Profit Orbs and some more Gears if I get all three, which I should. That's kind of the game plan. But you can all the only thing that I don't think doesn't give you points for your 5-star is replacing heroes in this. Replacing doesn't give you them, which kind of sucks, but I understand why. Because that would be kind of cheaty. <laughs> it would be a little bit cheaty, but that's okay. Um, we should be able to get, I'm hoping for, if my brain plan goes the way it should we should be able to get all three of the fortress heroes to uh three of the five star fortress heroes will give us some good gear and a profit orb and we should be able to get three forest heroes to five stars as well and that's going to give us the complete set of two star orange gear and four more profit orbs after that i don't know i don't know if i want to try to gamble in the shadow area because they've got some pretty nasty shadow heroes um i believe that's what they're called shadow faction or whatever but like blood blade pretty powerful Aiden's not bad, and Walter, I'd really like a Walter. Walter's disgusting for damage. But, you know, I might want to gamble in that area. I might just do some replacing with some of my five-star heroes in that area. I don't know yet. I'd like to get another five-star Dantalion so that I can upgrade him. Oh, I haven't showed you the creation circle yet, have I? Have I? Let's do that. So this is where you go to create five-star heroes and stuff. I'm going to create one of these guys here in a little bit. need to get, um, I have two of those in my bag I haven't pulled out yet. But that'll allow me to make a five star here, which will give me a point for the deal and I'll also get point for the using the creation circle thing, which is good. And eventually he will be used in turning my Aromas into a six star when I get 14,000 guild coins, which should be today or tomorrow. Um, and that'll be good. That'll be a six star Aromas if I if I want to sacrifice one of my Mirages, which I don't know if I want to do yet, guys. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not a hundo sure, but that will be something for another time. You know what I'm saying? Also... Over here, Dantalion. I've got all the stuff to make this five-star dude, but I haven't made him yet. But I just need one more of these dudes, and I can make me a six-star Dantalion, and he'll be disgustingly good, and I'll be happy with that. So, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Well, or, do we have one more campaign attack? Maybe we don't want to make... We don't want to go out with two losses under our belt, you know what I'm saying? 45 more seconds, are you serious? Are you serious? 
there anything we can do? Let's go ahead and grab these dudes out like so. Summon. Yes. Oh, I just summoned both of them, I guess? Hot dog! Alright, so... There we go. We now have... Boop. All the time mages. Do we want to do it? Do we want to do it right now? Like so. Put a little 50 time mage yaw. Um, the one you do select for the first roll, I believe, keeps his level. So this 5 star time mage should come out at level 50. So we'll go ahead and select all those dudes. Put all these little 3 stars in here. And we're going to put in that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. And let's fuse them. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Bam. Yep. Level 55 star time mage, and we get you get the spirit, some of the spirit back, and some of the hero promotion stones that you used um, when you dismantle the other heroes. So that's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. Good news. This five star, and that gives us. See, we got one of those. So we got some monster souls, some dusts, and we are now at two out of five for the fortress heroes. So that's good. We're getting closer to that. That's great, and that should give us enough procrastination time. For the battle. That's right. So let's jump in here. Hopefully smash this level. It's a it's a one of the multiples of five, so it is a boss. Um, will we beat it? I don't know. Oh wow. Yeah, we should have this no problem, I think. Yes, get in there. Do some damage. This is going great. It's going real great. Telling you what, guys, two times speed makes this game way better. Like, I started a couple new uh, accounts on, like, new servers, because you can have, like, infinite accounts on all the new servers. Um, so I just kind of been making them just to see where I get. And um, having one time speed sucks so hard. <laughs> you got to get the little 50 before you unlock two times, and it's a godsend. So we absolutely butt smash this guy. Oh, yes. Ten five-star hero shards. That's great. That's going to help us out in the event as well. I'm loving that. And what do we get for this place fighting on here? Nothing great, nothing great. We do get some five-star uh, nature hero shards, or forest, I guess. But, we're going to go ahead and move on and start auto-battling this one up here. And that. Ooh, we're going to get this mail first. Give me that delicious loot. Now, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave those in the down there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked the video, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And I will see you guys next time.